Hey, hi, this is Gail here from gailbottomlyonline.com and I'm just doing a very quick video just to show you how to use and install the WordPress footer. So let's get on with it and uh, let's get that done. And the WordPress footer will do this kind of thing for you on all your websites. So if you're bringing in automatic uh, articles or automatic videos on your websites, then this is going to be a very handy little tool because what it does is at the end of every single post, it will um, add whatever it is that you want to add at the end. So at the footer, at the bottom of your post, It'll add in whatever you want to add. So what if you wanted to add just a banner like this? And if I was to click on this, this would take me through to my affiliate product. So if anybody clicks on this, that's what's going to happen. But what if you could put at the bottom of every single post, both your own and all the automatic ones that have come in there, other people's articles and other people's videos, what if you could put at the bottom of every post a um, autoresponder? where you could gather people's names and emails and in return give them something free. So wouldn't that be just a cool thing? Or even a video. You might want to put a video at the bottom of every single article. Or maybe you just want to put a photo of yourself. Whatever it is, you can add here and it will go at the bottom of every single article that comes in. And if you look here, there it is on my second article. And then on the third article, which is a, a bought-in article, in other words, my auto post is bought it in, and then underneath that, there it is there, and then under that, we've got a video, and then under the video, once again, we have the WordPress footer. That is just so cool. So I'm going to show you right now how you can install the WordPress footer onto your website. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the back of my WordPress site that I've got here so that you can see exactly how I do that. So we'll just wait. Right now, what the biggest issue is that people are having with the WordPress footer is they're making this huge mistake of un zipping it. Now this is the way it will arrive when you download it, when you purchase it, which it's $4.97. I'll give you the link soon, but when you purchase it, it comes in as a zipped format. Now you must leave it zipped. It needs to be zipped. So do not unzip it. And now I'm going to show you what you do with it. So once you have got it downloaded onto your hard drive, then what you do is you need to install it here onto your WordPress site. So the first thing you do is go down to plugins. We'll click on plugins. Now what we need to do is make sure we remember where we've put it. So if it's sitting on your hard drive, know where it is so that you can go and get it. And then we're going to upload it into the um, plugins department. So here we go here and we go add in, add new rather. We'll click on that. Once you've clicked on the add new, then you get this little button where it says upload. And so now we need to go and find where it is on our hard drive. And we need to press the browse button and go and get it. So here it is here, WP footer plugin, and that's, uh, that's it there. So we just click on, oh, no, we don't want that. Big pardon. I'll stop that and we'll go back and get it properly. So we click on the WP um, footer plugin and then we press open. And now that will um, download it or upload it rather onto our website. Now once it's uploaded there, we press the install now button and then it will install onto our website. Once installed, then we click the Activate button. Now, once uh, it has been activated, it now sits in our plugins right there. Um, that's right where it is. And now we have to go and we have to add into it what we want to put in there to put at the bottom of each of our posts and on our child on my child discipline site you will remember it's just got that little banner there which is actually off my affiliate site so I've taken it from there and I've added it to the bottom of all my posts so now we're going to decide what we're going to put at the bottom of this one so I've already in, uh, uploaded a picture into my media 
So now I'm going to go into posts because I need to bring it into the post and give it some HTML as it were so and also make it clickable so that we can actually use it here in our WordPress footer. So first thing off is um, I need to go add new post. So I'll just go away and do that and uh, I'll be back to you in a moment. All right, so I've bought my little picture in here and um, all I've done is I've clicked on it just like that. And now I'm going to go and click on the hyperlink right here because I need to be able to um, hyperlink it, open it in another window and, uh, and send people to wherever you want them to go. So this is a very cool thing, a very cool feature of the WP or the WordPress. So now we have all filled out here and I'm sending them just to anything random at the moment and make sure that you select that you want it to open in a new window and make sure you put your title in here because these are keywords as well. And then all you need to do is go update. Now, the other thing that we're going to look at doing at the moment, it's uh, not centered. It's sitting. Um, actually, I'm not sure where it's sitting. We'll just click on it and uh, we'll find out just the way that it's sitting. So you just click on it once. And when that little picture comes up there, then you just click on that and it'll tell you a little bit more information about the picture. If the picture is too big, you can make it smaller. Um, and so you can do lots of different things with it. So here it is here, the size uh, here, you can change the size by just clicking here. Um, you can have a no alignment or left, center, right, whatever it is that you want to do. And so you just decide what you want to do. And then um, if you're making any changes, of course, then you just click update the link. So you just update the link and that's ready to go. So now we have it right here, but what we need is we need the HTML, sorry, HTML code. So we need to go get the HTML code that's been created now, and here it is all here. So we want that. So we're going to copy that. So we'll just copy it and uh, we'll keep it for, we're going to use it for. And what I do is I save these as drafts because I don't want to publish them. I don't want people to be able to see them, but I may want to come back in and use this again at some other time. So now that's done. Now we go back to plugins. So we've got all the information off there. That's our HTML code that we need to enter in here into the plugins. So once we've done that, we come down here to uh, the uh, WordPress or WP footer and we click on edit. And then now we're going to go in and be able to edit it and add our special code into it. So now this is the way it looks right here. And what you're wanting to do is add your code in this tiny little space here. You see, you don't only want to delete this. This is all you want to delete out. So I just highlight it, then click on it, and then just go paste, just like that. And then all my code, there we go, is all there. It's ready to go. And so we just want to save that. So we'll go update file. You can also change your name in here if you want. It's where it says download, you can put... Um, once you've bought this program, you can become a, like an affiliate of it. So you can change that to your name, whatever your name is that you put in there or not, doesn't matter. And then you just click update file. And once you've done that, it's ready to go, guys, and we'll be able to see it on our website. So that's done. And we'll come back here to the front of the website, which doesn't actually have that much on it. I don't think at the moment it only has one article on there. But you'll be able to see how it looks anyway. So there it is there. We need to do a bit of a, a quick refresh on it. And you'll see um, there it is right there. And if we have more articles on here, that would be at the bottom of every single article that we have on our website, whether it's an article that we've written or whether it's an article that we have bought in or a video or Yahoo Answers. It would be all the way through. So there you go, guys. It's a pretty amazing tool, wordpressfooter.com. That's wordpressfooter.com. And uh, you can use it in lots of different ways, as I said. Use it for banners, pictures, or your autoresponder, or whatever it is. Use the tool well, wordpressfooter.com. And this is Gail signing off. Have a great day.